Thank you for coming to my herb talk. Today we are going to be talking about Eleutherococcus centicosis, also known as Eleuthero. And the reason why I chose this herb is because it is one of my favorite herbs and one of my favorite adaptogens. I have used it before and found it to have amazing benefits, so I did want to share a little bit more about it with you today. Um, so Eleuthero is most commonly known for its adaptogenic effects and adaptogens increase our body's resistance to environmental stress and improve overall vitality. When taken orally, Eleuthero has also been used as a stimulant, as a diuretic, as an appetite stimulant, an immune system stimulant, as well as to normalize high or low blood pressure, insomnia, Alzheimer's, ADHD, chronic fatigue, diabetes, and much more. In my personal experience, I used Eleuthero consistently for a few months while living in the Amazon jungle and I was amazed by its powerful healing effects. And I did also find that the more you use it, the more you notice the effects of it. Um, its adaptogenic properties helped my body to adapt to the constant change uh, uh, in extreme weather temperatures from extreme heat to very cool, humid nights. And I also found that it gave me a lot of energy. It would help me to feel well rested, even if I didn't get, you know, a full eight hours of sleep. Even if I didn't have, you know, three meals, it would always help me feel totally fine. And um, I, I would drink it every day in the morning with guarana and achiote. And I found that tasks that would normally take about 30 minutes or, you know, hikes, um, would take about a third of the time after drinking this tea. So I was amazed by its powerful effects and um, how, how well it helped my body adapt to those conditions. The active constituents in Eleuthero include carbohydrates, coumarins, lignans, phenylpropanoids, triterpenoids, and essential oils. And the pharmacological action is mostly attributed to the active constituents that are found in the root, which is a part most commonly used. And these constituents are going to be the elithrocytes A through M. The elithrocytes constituents appear to have hypoglycemic activity Activity and thus elethro is sought to decrease blood glucose levels and has been used for diabetes before. Um, several of the other active constituents are thought to have both antioxidant and anti-cancer effects and the anti-cancer effects include anti-proliferative effects on leukemia cells. There are some things to take into consideration when taking elethro. Um, a lot of the commercial preparations have been diluted and mislabeled. So I do always recommend getting the um, herb, the root, and making your own decoction. And then there's also some contraindications to take into consideration. It is contraindicated for use with high blood pressure as it can cause palpitations, tachycardia, and hypertension. And it should be used with caution with patients who have known cardiovascular disorders. I did also find that women with hormone sensitive conditions should avoid its use. Hormone sensitive conditions are going to include breast cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, endometriosis, and uterine fibroids. And I personally have endometriosis. I was not aware um, of this contraindication while I was using the herb. I didn't find it to have any negative effects on um, my endometriosis in particular. But this is something that I will have to further research. And if anyone has any more information in regards to this, I would be more than happy to hear it. So please let me know. And lastly, I have some pictures attached on here from Eleuthero, the, the plant, the flowers, the berries, and the root. I hope you enjoyed my presentation and I'll see you next time.